Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it. We've been looking at the book of Psalm 27 and uh, reflecting on verse number 11 all the way up to verse number 13 by yesterday. Today we will read verse 14 and the emphasis has been when we allow God to teach us his way, when we allow God to lead us, it is total surrender. And so God does what he wants with our lives. And when we allow him to teach us, to lead us, he will direct us to even wonderful ways. He will direct us through unexpected ways. And all this is to the glory of his name. And when the psalmist realized what it means to allow God be God, he got to a point in verse number 13 and he said, that I could, I would have lost heart unless I had believed. And so believing in God, allowing God to lead you, gives you courage to continue. I would have lost heart unless I had believed. And I believed what? That I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. The land of the living is our daily engagement. And even later, when we are out of this life, the life eternal when we get to eternity we shall still see god but in our day-to-day -day walk this is the side of the living where we are we experience god's goodness every day by doing what by not losing heart by not giving up by choosing to believe in the lord and he reveals himself to us i'll read verse number 14 which says wait on the lord be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Praise the Lord. The emphasis is that if you want to see the goodness of the Lord, yes, in this side of the land of the living and in the life to come, wait upon the Lord. Secondly, be of good courage, and what will happen to you? He shall strengthen your heart. And the psalmist calls us again as he concludes that psalm. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Today, wait upon the Lord. Be of good courage. And the Lord will not just look at you or, you know, say that I can see what you are doing. No, he will strengthen you. He will strengthen your heart. Today, you may be feeling like you want to surrender. You are almost giving up. Or maybe it's like things are not working out as you would expect. Wait upon the Lord. Be of good courage. Trust in the Lord and he will strengthen your heart. And because we are human beings and many times we are tempted to just surrender, the reminder, just as the psalmist has done, is wait. And I say, wait on the Lord. Don't wait upon anybody else. Don't look upon anyone else. Look upon God, wait upon the Lord, trust in the Lord, be of good courage, and the Lord will strengthen your heart. This is very encouraging that right from verse number 11, we see that we have a role to play. Even as we allow God to teach us, we have to cooperate. We have to walk with God. We have to listen to his counsel. We have to purpose that I will not give up. I will not lose heart. I'll call upon the name of the Lord and I'll continue believing. And when you do that, remember, the Lord will reveal himself to you in this side of the land of the living, and in the life to come, he will still be your God. And so verse 14, once again, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, praise the Lord, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, wait on the Lord, praise the Lord. Don't wait upon anybody else, wait upon the Lord. May the Lord bless you, God keep you. Let us allow him to lead us, to teach us, and also let us purpose in our hearts, in our minds, in our motives, in our attitude to wait upon the Lord. He is a promise keeper. 
he never fails. God be with you. God keep you. Have a lovely time and also a wonderful weekend. In the name of the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Shalom.